Good afternoon. A good evening. I think you can wait. I gotta wait for this. Okay. Oh. You are live now. Dick Dad, a good evening. Welcome to a uh, Spring Happiness Show. Uh, I'm John, you're my partner, my dad, Mark. This show about Spring Happiness Show. Spreading happiness. You ready to spread happiness? Yeah, and we can get started. Right? You want to We let people know some things? Uh, we got a business together. What's it yeah, called? It's called John's Crazy Socks. And that's because you're John? Yes, I am. I'm John, and because I'm crazy. You're crazy, huh? Some, why? Your brothers have notif- noticed that about you? Yeah, um, thank you. <laughs> and it was your idea yeah. to start the company. Yeah, I, I, I cover an idea from my head. Right. I make my ear, an ear, my smoke at my ear. Right, when John thinks hard, smoke comes out of his ears. <laughs> but, you know, I'd like to talk to you about that. Yeah, go ahead. We've been running this business for five and a half years. Yes, I'm really happy. You're very happy. How about I get a turn? How about we change the name? Uh, uh, called, uh, Mark Serious Socks. Mark Serious Socks. Mark's Many Socks. <laughs> Mark's Merry Socks. <laughs> no? I was just laughing. I was You're just laughing? I go along. You're just going along, huh? <laughs> well, you've been telling me you've been going along with your girlfriend. I did. Yeah, that's going well? Yeah, uh, very steady. Very steady. Meaning you didn't break up this week. No. <laughs> well, you're very smooth. I'm very smooth, and I have three tips. Oh, you're offering love advice now. Uh, three Dating th- advice? That, no, uh, about me and Stephanie. You and Stephanie. So it's not advice. This is more what you think is happening. You, yes. What you're, what you're doing in your relationship. Yes, and my relationship with Stephanie one, um, a freak, freaking out, and two, a working out, and wait, the, first one is work it out, working out, and then the second one is figure it out, out and, and the third, third one, I tell each other. Okay, help me understand something. But oh, uh, relationship wizard, what's the difference between working it out and figuring it out? I. I so I I I I I I I something out something like, uh, um like figuring something out, and I I I, I, I it's really good thing. She is a very mature. Oh, you are very uh, mature. She is very mature. Uh, uh, me and Stephanie, I always tell each other uh-huh. because because our relationship, yeah. we always talk this out, and figuring out, um um. I'm figuring something out, and um, um, I, I eat good things. This is very much. And, and, and because I, I, I share, I share, I share my family with Stephanie. Stephanie can share my family with me. This, and this I, is very mature. And very mature. And you know, your mother's gonna love to hear this. I love it. Yeah, because you're gonna be so happy if it is working out with Stephanie. Yeah, <laughs> I did. <laughs> oh, John, I'm seeing a note here from Becky. Becky is Hi, out Becky. there. Hi, Becky. She has COVID. Oh, no. Uh, I'm so oh, sorry. COVID. We, we hope you're doing okay. I hope you're okay. Um, you know, we know, John, we all had that back in 2020. Uh, we hope you're doing okay. Take care of yourself there, Becky. Take care. All right. Um, so, let's see. Uh, we've had a lot going on. Yeah, we've had a lot going on. Right? Uh, we now have a podcast. What's the podcast yeah, called? Our podcast is a Spreading Happiness Podcast. Wow, Spreading Happiness Facebook live show. Yeah. Spreading Happiness podcast. Podcast. You must be serious about this happiness there. Yeah. Right. And that podcast, if you'd like that, you know, you find it where? I, 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 you can find, uh, find us at John's Crazy Sock.com. Right. If you go to our I, website, I, you I, find I, it. I'll go to your website. But, but the, I don't make the bio. But the podcast the is on all the uh, regular all podcast all platforms, right? Yeah. Apple, Spotify, Google, Amazon. Uh, 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 GoDaddy. GoDaddy. Do they have a podcast platform? I don't know. You just felt like saying that. 
<laughs> yeah, I, I love that word. You just love saying go daddy. Yeah. Okay, not go mom. Go daddy. <laughs> yeah. Okay, just checking on that. <laughs> um, right, so, so, but we recorded an episode of that today. And, you know, that's, it's different than this show. We share good news stories. Yeah, we highlight news. another business. Yeah, I, I, talk about working out. Right? I, I talk about my love life. You talk about your love life. Oh, Lord. I love, oh. you, I love you, Stephanie. Oh, Lord. <laughs> uh, we tell some jokes or different jokes, right? Yeah. Um, it's just a half hour meant to put a smile on people's face. So you may, you, you may want to check that out. But... Uh, so we've been doing that. Monday, we were over at the Special Olympics. Yeah, we did. You like going to Special Olympics? I love Special Olympics. And what did we bring them? A nice big check. Right. We, it was a donation because uh, we've been doing a lot of, um, well, part of what we do at our business is giving back. 5% of our earnings go where? I, I, I to uh, a Special Olympics. And why is that? I am Special Olympics. I'm a big sexy. <laughs> He's given a nickname to himself, Big Sexy. <laughs> You're so unassuming and shy. Yes, I am. <laughs> Sick, Dad. But this weekend, and, 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 I, and I saw Susie Vaughn wants to know about it, this past weekend, where were we? I went in Boston, and it, it could find, uh, I tell you why I'm going on in Boston, because I went to a, a, a medical uh Medical, uh, we call it. Well, medical research. Uh, study. Medical research. So you enrolled I, in that. I wrote on that one, and did a study about a live DSR study. That's the name of it. And, and a done name, name, um, of uh, of the study, and uh, I connected with uh, 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 our sponsor to the organization, New Mind, and. Uh, Connected with so, down, down uh, room and and at terminals. So we'll we'll tell some folks about this. In case you didn't know, John here, you have Down syndrome. Yes, I am. I have Down syndrome. Down syndrome never, never hold me back. It does not hold you back. But let us tell you some. You know, in case you don't know about Down syndrome, um, the world has been changing for people with Down syndrome. Yes. Uh, people with Down syndrome used to have very short lifespans. It uh, wasn't that long ago. The average lifespan was less than 30 years of, of, of age. But we've made tremendous gains in the medical area and in supports. So you're an example. Yes. Before John was three months old, he had open heart surgery. I did. Five years earlier, they weren't doing that surgery. But that surgery was great for you. Yeah, you I, I turned I, around. I did great. I feel help. But here's what happens on the other end. So people with Down syndrome are living longer now. They estimate that the lifespan is 60. John's going to live to about 120. I don't think they know how long people can live. 120. Oh, I, I, I could be 120 years old. Yeah, that sounds good for you, huh? Oh, thank you. I am now. But here's what happens. 95% um, of people with Down syndrome ultimately develop Alzheimer's. Um, the same chromosome, the 20... The, there's an extra 21st chromosome that causes Down syndrome. That's yes. a, that's associated with Down syndrome, with Alzheimer's. So we got to do something about this. Um, what can we do? Well, there's a lot of medical research going on, um, and there are some very important clinical trials happening, and that's what John did. I did. He enrolled in one of those clinical trials that's looking at a, that is a longitudinal study, so it'll look over time at adults. You're an adult. Yes, I am. I'm an adult. With Down syndrome and tracking about, you know, look, looking at issues that could affect Alzheimer's. Um, so it's a scary notion looking to the future, right. but, but there's a lot of hope out there. Uh, they've made, you know, researchers have made tremendous gains in identifying what is, you know, the onset of Alzheimer's, and they're making gains in working with medicines that could prevent it. Um, and it's medical, you know, clinical studies like the one John enrolled in that will make things, uh, will make it possible to find ways to prevent Alzheimer's. Absolutely. And so, you know, if you're out there and you have Down syndrome, you may want to enroll in this. We can put information in about Lumines, you can connect there. Um, 
that an organization we work with, they organize and support and fundraise yes. for these clinical trials. Um, uh, we can put you in contact. It would be great if you enrolled. You make a world of difference. Or you can make donations and support them. Um, but it was very simple. You, where, What hospital did we go to? Uh, we went to uh, Massachusetts Central Hospital. Mass General, famous hospital. And you went up there and they gave you a medical exam? Yeah, they gave me a medical exam. Anything special about it? Uh, it was what you would get here from your doctor at home, right? Right. Nothing special. Nothing special. They interviewed you? Yeah, they were uh, taking it for me. Uh, uh, I, I'm doing a physical, a, a, a detective, a technology. They, um, so I, they I, did that? I, I, I'm learning like a plot, and I'm learning uh, like a, a memorize. And, and they interviewed your mom and me about your medical history? And I love medical things. history. You love history. <laughs> and medical. And he, and he was a cool thing, right? John was very supportive. You were very excited about this. But then you started getting a little anxious. I love it. Being known as anxious. And it was one thing John was a little wary of. They drew some blood. And John wasn't sure about that. He was hesitant. And when it came time to draw the blood, I said, do you want me to go with you? He I, said, no, Dad. I, I said, no. I got this. I got this. I will go by myself. And you went by yourself and I drew the blood. How'd you do? A, a miracle. You were great, huh? Yes. You were great. I, I was straight out there and I called my dad. Um, you did. You called me. You walked out. You called me on the phone and said, Dad, guess what? I got, I, I, I got my shot. I got my blood. <laughs> so that was all good. But then we were in Boston. What did we do up in Boston? Oh, oh we were just shares. We, you, we went to the Cheers Bar. So it used to be called the <laughs> Bowen Finch. It was the inspiration for the TV show Cheers. The outside, that, you know, they would shoot the outside show. Inside, it never looked like what the TV show did. Um, but I've been going to Boston since 1976. I lived up there when I went to graduate school. Yes. We traveled up there a lot. I've never been to the Cheers Bar. It took John to take me there. Right. And did you have fun? I, did, I, I, I got a t-shirt and, and a beer mug. And you had a mug, right? Yeah. And you kind of thought when you walked in, they'd all yell, John! John! No! Norm! <laughs> you like that? I um, did. Uh, oh, yeah. My, mo my mom and I, right? I went to a clam. Went to Boston I, Aquarium? I, I, I bought a clam. I knew it went and did a movie. Uh, and uh, we went to a marketplace. You went to Faneuil Hall. Uh, uh, for the hall. And what did you get at Faneuil Hall? Chowder. Chowder. A little chowder, New England lamb chowder. Oh, yeah, but, and but, by the way, yeah. while you're there, whole weekend in Boston, I just get lobster roll. Hey, we eat lobster roll coming out your ears. We, so, we did a lot of eating. Yeah. Thursday night, where'd we go? Where was the first restaurant? Fire and ice. Fire and ice. You love that fire and I ice. I love fire and ice. Mongolian barbecue. They cooked that up for you. You like that, huh? Yes, I do. And then the next night, we went to... A, a, sum, a summer shack. Summer shack. Great uh, and, seafood and, place. Yeah. And, and my, you had... I had a lobster roll. Lobster roll. And also, my mom got lobster. She had a big old honking lobster, right? Yeah, she liked it. And, and really cool. What? My mom and I got... Oysters. Oh, you guys were eating oysters all weekend, right? We also wound up going to legal seafood. I love um, legal seafood. Plus, this is amazing and shocking. <laughs> we're in Boston, and your mom went shoe shopping. Yes, she did. Right? So that was all a good weekend, and, and, and we had fun. And um, that was after, and we had told folks this last Thursday, we had been in Hartford, and we saw Robert Earl King. Oh, yeah, it's so much fun. The road goes on forever. Road goes on and the party never well, ends. Never end. There is a song. It's a great song. But it never sounds like that. <laughs> 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 um, so we, we had uh, that going on. And, and tonight when we're done with this, we're speaking at the University, uh, University of Houston. Houston, their ophthalmology program. Um, because uh, Professor Martinez has a great class down there to um, educate people and expose 
uh, her students to working with people with different abilities. So that that's pretty exciting. Yes. Um, and then this weekend, we're away again. Where are we going? Cape Cod. Okay. Cape Cod. We're, who are we going to see up there? Paul and Annie. We're heading to our friends, the Nileses. We were up there not long ago. We came up for Paul's uh, um, um, retirement, retirement party, party because he stepped down as the headmaster at the Lighthouse Charter School. Yeah, he did. That was a surprise visit. This one they prepared. They know we're coming. And let me ask you something. On Cape Cod, are you going to have a lobster roll? Yes, I am. <laughs> uh, the lobsters are scared of you. A bummer that? What? Uh, tomorrow night, we stay at Providence. Oh, we're, we're, we'll stop at Providence on the way up. And what does that mean, John? Which means I'm going to have pretzel, stop pretzel. Stop pretzel, the malted barley. John's <laughs> on the way. <laughs> Oh, Lord, help us all. Um, okay, so um, we've been doing some yapping. You want to tell some jokes? Yeah, I love jokes. You love jokes. Oh, you got some jokes. I right laugh. There. Okay, everybody. Why can a hockey player listen to music? Why can a hockey player listen to music? Because he broke a record. Because he broke a record. Oh. <laughs> uh, why can't you play hockey with pigs? Why can't you play hockey with pigs? They hog the puck. They hog the puck. Uh, Let me ask you something. Before you go to the next one, who would think to play hockey with pigs? I don't know. <laughs> uh, but they, right? I have feedback from my brother and my sister-in-law. What do they say? Patrick said boo. <laughs> and he said one of the first shows were really any athletes. <laughs> and Emily said that's true, Patrick. But you can't just say Sports person, so hockey player was well. <laughs> so Patrick was saying no, and and Emily was liking the jokes. Yes. Okay. Well, I got a bunch of gas jokes for you. Oh, I love gas, gas in the news. <laughs> and you were talking about science, so we'll start with this. There are the noble gases, sometimes called the inert gases. How do you get a noble gas? I don't know. You get a king to fart. <laughs> You know, so uh, John brought me my wallet and said, Dad, I just farted on your wallet. <laughs> now, now you have gas money. <laughs> okay, tell me this. What has three letters and starts with gas? <laughs> A car. <laughs> Really? So where can you get gas for two dollars? Taco Bell. <laughs> so I had, uh, uh, well, we'll skip that one. Let's see. So what type of running really means you're walking when you run out of gas? <laughs> God, we better. We, we better stick the socks. All right, let's say hello to some folks out there. Yes, yes. Lehanna is saying hello Hi, from Hannah. North Carolina. Hello. I hope I pronounced your name uh, correctly there. Debbie is saying, John, you brighten her day. Thank you very much. That makes us feel good. That's why we're coming on to do this. Um, Sarah, who's a good supporter of ours, and thank you, Sarah. Thank you, she Sarah. She says, good evening, John. Good evening. Just like that. Susie wanted to know how we were doing up in How's Cambridge. How's going? It's steamy up there. It's steamy here in New York. It's like 100 degrees out. 100 degrees out. Holy Christmas. Holy Christmas. Um, and let's see. Uh, John Bleak is out there. Hey, John. Hi, hey, Master. John's one of our colleagues. He's saying he was in Grand Central Terminal earlier. That means oh, he's been riding uh, the rails. By the way, Dad. Yeah. Hey, Jonathan, my ears are twin wheels. I, I'm nine or six. <laughs> this must be some inside joke. Our friend Pam is saying hello from Vinland, Vinland New Hi, Jersey. Um, oh, Mary Slattery, the hello. mother of Caroline and Victoria, 
is saying, John, that was a good thing to do, to enroll in that medical study. Thank you very much. That's I really very appreciate good. it. Um, and uh, says that uh, Massachusetts General has been very important to their family. Absolutely. Right? I, 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 it's really helpful. Um, and John Bleeker, he's going back to Grand Central because he's going to keep riding the rails. Yeah, are he going for his birthday? He's going for his birthday. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Uh, ooh, here's a great story. Debbie says her daughter, Nicole, who just turned 37, had heart surgery at 10 months old. And she's still doing great. That's wow. so good wow. to hear. That's so good to hear. That's great. Uh, Victoria Slattery. Victoria works with us. She is our fabulous intern. Yeah, it's great. One intern. of the many great things she's already done, she did the logo for our JCS Champions. Wow. Program. I really like that. So she says that she loves Fanuel Hall. Um, That's great. Susie's never been to the Boston Aquarium. Oh, I, I really find um, I, I, um, I next to our, uh, the aquarium that have uh, the movie. Uh, 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 you can't well, they got a movie theater that's movie part of the there. aquarium. Yeah. Um, well, I'll tell you this, Susie. Now, I'm, we're not experts, but we can share this. Been to half dozen aquariums. Ah, uh, yes. I've right? been to the Coney Island Aquarium. Uh, been to the Long Island Aquarium. Been to Boston and Baltimore. I've been to the Monterey Aquarium. That's a good aquarium. I've been to the Chicago Aquarium. Wow. I've been to the... Monte Carlo Aquarium. Wow. I'm telling you, Boston's one of the best. I like that Boston one. Go, you get a chance to go check that out. Um, let's see. Uh, Ryan is saying, hello, John. My name is Ryan Reed. I'm born deaf. Nice to meet you. Hello, Ryan. And, Hi, Ryan. And I know Facebook um, puts captions on there. I hope that helps. Um, thank you very much, uh, Ryan. Um, thank you, Ryan. We... Uh, we love, uh, you know, we, we lo we're glad you were able to check in. And now I don't get this. Ryan likes comedy, so I'm not sure why he's checking us out. <laughs> I mean, you're laughing hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, Anna Marie, Anne Marie says, you've got her laughing. John Bleeker's laughing. Marianne says, the laugh is contagious. That's a good type of contagious, right? Yes. Debbie yes. finds it contagious. Um, <laughs> uh, Victoria, you already got the job. She's saying our jokes were cracking her up. You don't have to be nice. <laughs> Jennifer says hello. Uh, Tracy and Drew are out in Oregon. Oh, very cool. Wow. All right, John. Well, it's good to check in with folks. Now we're going to check in. With our friends down at University of Houston. Yeah, and let, let's go to Houston. Let's go to Houston. Folks, hope you have a great week. Hi, um, and once away again. And uh, we will catch you next Thursday. Next Thursday. All right, take care. Take care, bye. Bye. All right, or, or you want to go do